hey, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you are watching this video, that means that you are looking to start your own franchised business. Uh, so congratulations on making that jump from the corporate world or whatever you're doing beforehand into the entrepreneurial life. Uh, I'm Steve, and this, is Dylan. this is Dylan. Um, we're the co-owners of Moving You and Junk You. Uh, we started a business four years ago. And uh, we've been loving, in love with this life ever since. So we're excited to explain our story to you, give you a little background on what our business uh, is about, not only in what we do, but also what the daily life of a f moving you and junk you franchisee owner will be like. And uh, yeah, it's just good, exciting stuff. Yeah, so what we're looking for really, I mean, I would say is... is People that want to win, that are looking for uh, you know something in their life, in their business, where they're looking to grow and improve every single day. I mean, it's really in our DNA here at Moving You and Junk You, from sure. our movers, um, you know, to our salespeople, to our management staff, and then of course Steve and me here. We, we want to be a part of something that's moving forward, that's growing, uh, that's striving to be the most, you know, the best, the number one, um, you know, just that competitive mindset. I think in everything that we do. For sure, yeah. I mean, business is, uh, I think, a reflection of yourself, the industry you get into, what you know. We got into this where we're competitive people in general, um, whether it be you know sports, school, whatever the case is. If there's a score, like mine, I want my name to be on top. And I know right, Dylan right, feels yeah, the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and that that's kind of how we conduct ourselves in business. So when we do look for franchisees, we want someone who's going to kind of mesh up with that to because you want we look on the same level. We look yeah, eye yeah, to yeah. eye about uh, yeah. different goals that we have in our lives. Right. And uh, yeah, and yeah. I think I think it really it starts with that that personality type of the person that feels like there's someone Definitely. that is growing and pushing. I mean, that's what we want to do, um, you know, with everything we do here. Like we said, like like to the, from the way we train the, the guys that do the physical moving to the mm -hmm. way that, you know, we conduct our, uh, you know, 10,000 feet management meetings. That's how we do all of it. You know, it's about trying to be the best at everything we do. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I mean, so we uh, we started pretty much uh, from the complete bottom. We were working at a different moving company, um, you know, and Steve and I knew each other from college, and we worked there and kind of figured out the ins and outs of, you know, the uh, the moving and junk removal business. And so what we did was we pretty much just quit our jobs on a whim with $50 in our living room and decided that we were going to go ahead and, uh, you know, start this moving company called moving you and junk you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like Dylan said, we, we started in our living room just looking to do our own thing. Um, we started just, we didn't even have a truck. We, we started by just doing labor type jobs where we right. just load someone's U-Haul tr yeah, yeah. truck. Uh, they take it over to the new place. We'd fall behind in our crappy car and get out and, you know, bring everything into, into their house. Um, that, that, that's kind of the roots that we, we started with, um, you know, and Steve at the time was working at an apartment complex on the side. So he was, uh, taking their prints so that we could yes. have flyers to hand yes. out to apartment complexes. And, so a uh, hefty marketing budget. Right, of, right. Uh, yeah. Zero. Yeah. But, we were uh, generating business pretty much, uh, just essentially from just word of mouth. Yes. You know, we didn't have any marketing dollars. We just walked into places and, uh, you know, introduced ourselves, said, you know, it was just us and that we would be the ones doing the move-in and that's what we did, you know, we just started sparking business that way and, you know, one thing leads to another and uh, the next thing we knew, Steve was uh, graduating mm -hmm. um, that year and I was a s sophomore, so Steve decided he wasn't going to go to medical school, which was his original plan and I decided was. I wasn't going to go back to uh, to Westchester University here, so uh, I think that talks also just to our all in this mentality. Uh, right. When Dylan and I go about something, uh, we go all in with it, and and this was no exception. Uh, and you know, as Dylan mentioned, right. we were uh, in our living room at that point. We had just saved up enough money to rent our first office, right. which uh, was yeah. about a thirty square it's a 30 foot square foot closet, closet. in a hotel. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It was in it was in a hotel. Um, it was an old restaurant closet that they had. Um, for like the manager's office and uh, that's where we put all our supplies mm -hmm. and um, you know that was that was the first office that we ran everything out of and less than a year later we actually um, ended up moving to this location here mm -hmm. which is a 4,000 square foot warehouse with some office space attached to it um, you know I think that really kind of speaks to what our attitude is uh, has been from the beginning you know when we were just the guys with $50 um, in our pockets just dreaming of you know even having any type of business to Absolutely. where we want to go now 
Uh, and I think that is to be uh, 100% the number one moving and junk removal country um, company in the world. You know, I think it's by, uh, you know, and it starts with, you know, having that competitive DNA and, 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 and being the type of people that wake up every day wanting to get to that new, you know, that new location and, and kind of that, that mindset of, wow, what could my business be if, you know, and that's the type of people we're looking for. That's the type of business we envision, you know, being moving forward that we have been, you know, like we said, since we were just guys kind of in a truck just talking about, you know, the idea of this. Um, Absolutely. That's pretty much where we started and that's where we plan on going, you know, moving forward. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's just like Dylan said, it's kind of been in our DNA to, to strive for greatness and to really be the best in our industry. Um, you know, of course, when we were doing the actual moves, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't have experience with when you started a company. We started literally from the bottom, right. doing the moves, marketing, doing everything. You know, right. we didn't have any, we, we couldn't leverage any, any uh, money resources or, or resources. even experience. True. Truthfully. We didn't have experience. I mean, uh, some, you know, work experience, but we didn't have any, you know, true business Definitely or management, management. experience. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of went from, you know, us being the two guys doing everything to, uh, you know, us just working on the sales to us just doing the management, you know, to now get to this point where we kind of have, uh, you know, the business sort of doing what it does on itself so that's the goal for uh you know for us and then to have you know hundreds hundreds of hundreds of if not thousands of franchises thing. yeah doing the exact same thing that want to be the the winners in their local market um you know and, and and us to be you know the the driving force to help you know uh those people do that in their or locations. maybe moving you yeah. and junk you a household name that, that's that's the goal that's the goal, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah that's Yeah, so I mean, if you feel like what we're saying is, uh, you know, sort of the culture you feel like you want to be a part of and that you want to build on your own, um, what I would say is, of course, reach out. Sure. Uh, you know, if, if growth and, uh, you know, competitive and, and, and driven, you know, that mindset is the type of person that you feel like you are, um, you know, then that's exactly what we're looking for. You know what I mean? That's who um, that's who we want to reach out and we can see, you know, if, uh, you know, if we're a good fit. Yeah, ambition, uh, fast-paced growth. Uh, if that doesn't scare you, then then definitely reach out. Um, you know that that that's who like Dylan had mentioned before. That's in our DNA. You know, and I think if if you're someone who's like that, you'll connect well with us. Um, so definitely reach out if uh, if that's you, and we'll see where it goes. Yep. Hey, and while you guys are here, let's take a tour of the warehouse. So these are where some of our trucks are parked. And this is our 4,000 square foot warehouse. Let's come on inside. All right, so this is our office portion of our warehouse. So this is where we're running uh, the sales center out of, as you can see, our sales cubes. Um, we have an office administrator. Uh, she sits at this desk over here. And then right behind you here, we have our manager's office. Uh, so this is where all the uh, brainstorming happens. Let's go to the warehouse. Cool, yeah, so this is our uh, 4,000 square foot warehouse. Um, obviously the most important aspects is we have uh, the storage cage as well as our basketball net. Uh, which a lot of friendly competition happens with uh, Dylan and myself, as well as our movers to warm up in the morning. So the reason why we picked a facility like this is we want to have adequate space, obviously, to grow into the business that we have, but also uh, to make it a more you know communal feel for our employees to have a little bit of a lounge. It's a lot of fun here. Yeah.